Hello everyone, welcome back. It's Mitch from Mitch's Daily English Neighbor Blog Facebook page here on YouTube. Every week I'm updating these short five minute English lesson videos for you to practice English with me here on YouTube. Go back and check out all my former videos. You can check the playlist. I've got all of those videos there for you to study, share, let your friends know that they can study English with me on Facebook, on Twitter, on Naver. Just spread it around, tell everybody. Today we're going to continue a series that I started several weeks ago. We've done two already in the series. The series is on pronunciation. Pronunciation means how you speak, how you say English letters, English words, okay, how you make the sound. Very important because when you speak to a native English speaker, someone from America or Canada or England, someone who hasn't lived in Korea for a long time or maybe never been to Korea, they have a hard time understanding a lot of Korean pronunciation. Okay, so you need to practice. If you want to speak to native English speakers, you need to practice because it's a very big obstacle, a big barrier in the way of studying and communicating with foreign people. So practicing pronunciation is not that hard. It's not that hard, but it's something that we don't do often. So let's do it. There are two other videos in this series. I did one on the difference between L and R. So go back and check out that video. And I also did one on the difference between J and Z. Okay, those are difficult pronunciations. I've done two videos on those. So click this link here. This will lead you to the playlist. My playlist has all the videos that I've done so far and you can see those videos for pronunciation. Today, let's go on to our third video in the series and we're going to talk about the difference between the letters F and P. F and P. These are very confusing sometimes for Koreans because in Korean language you don't have an F sound exactly. Uh, you have a P sound, very similar to a P, so P is not difficult for Koreans. Thankfully, P is very easy. It's F. F is the hard one. So today we're going to talk about how to pronounce F. P, very simple. You just put your lips together, P, and blow air out of your lips. Very easy, not difficult. Koreans often say words that start with P with no problem. F is a little more difficult, right? And usually when Koreans say F words, they use P instead. So many Koreans say to me, Mitch, you look very pet. You look very pet. What is pet? I know because I lived in Korea a long time. It means I'm fat. Yes, I know I'm very fat. I've been eating every day too much food, drinking too many beers. I'm getting fat, but I'm not getting pet. Pet is a different word. Fat. I'm getting fat. You need to say it with an F sound. Or many times Koreans will say, oh, Mitch, I want to be your pudenda. I want to be your pudenda. Well, that's not the right pronunciation. You should say, I want to be your friend. I want to be your friend. Okay, very different sounds. So it's very difficult for foreigners to understand when Koreans don't use the F sound. Another one they often say is, oh, my house is very par, very par. No, par is golf language. When you play golf, you hit par, but far is what you're trying to say. My house is very far from here, not par. A few years ago, they started to, people in Korea started to change it even more and instead of P sound, they started doing a WH sound, a WH sound. So like, for instance, uh, Hwanta. Would you like some Hwanta? If you say Hwanta to a foreigner, if you say, would you like some Hwanta? They won't understand you. I promise you. They will say, what? What is Hwanta? Because in America, we call it Fanta. Fanta. So F, -f sound is very important, very different. Whiting. Whiting. Koreans always say whiting. It used to be piting. Now they say whiting, but still doesn't work. Okay. And by the way, fighting, even if you say F, fighting is Konglish. It's not English. If you say fighting to an American, they might try to fight you because we don't say fighting. So don't say that. But the pronunciation should be F, fight, fight, not 
quite. So it's very different. It's very important to get it right. So let's practice it, okay? Uh, as I said, P, not difficult. P, just put your lips together and blow air. P, okay? But F, I put a chart on the blog. You can see the chart. This chart has the mouth shape for F, all right? So if you look at that chart, you can kind of see how it is supposed to look. It's very easy. It's not difficult. Just put your top teeth on your bottom lips okay so you put your top teeth on your bottom lip like this like a chipmunk not difficult just put those there and blow air that's it very simple just practice that for 100 times you know I like to say practice 100 times so practice that 100 times when you've done that enough times then try some words some F words as I said friend or fan, or far, or fat, okay? Practice those words. Those will be very useful. Okay, then after you've practiced those a hundred times each, then now the real test. Practice some words that start with P, and then some words that sound the same that start with F, okay? Like for instance, pan, pan, frying pan. Pan, fan, fan is different, right? Pan, fan. Try a word like Pete, feet, Pete, feet. This is my friend Pete, and he has nice feet. Foot, put, put your shoe on your foot. Try to say some of those phrases a hundred times again, and I promise you it's not that difficult. If you practice a hundred times each, you will easily learn F. It's not that hard compared to some of the other ones like L and R or J and Z. Those are much more difficult than F. Okay, so let's practice because it will be very helpful for you when you are communicating with foreigners and people who speak English. They will understand you better and you will understand them better. So communication will be much easier. I hope that helps you. I hope you have a good week practicing F and P. Try a lot. That's your homework. Don't forget your homework and I will see you next week with another video, another lesson for you to practice English with me. Go to my blog, Neighbor Blog, Facebook page, YouTube channel, and subscribe, press like, and share. Share with all your friends. Let them know that they can study English with me, with Mitch. Thanks, everybody. I'll see you next week. Have a good week. Practice hard. F and P. Bye.